What's going on guys? In today's video, we will find out if it is important to find a mentor on your path to success. So be sure to stay tuned. Today's video, I really want to focus on mentorship. You know, if it is important to have a mentor and who my mentor were as I, you know, uh, got into the whole thing of entrepreneurship, you know. Um, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. Every time I think back, like go back, I always, you know, find out that I actually had a mentor without even knowing. So I'm 20 years old right now. Um, you know, I really started being a little bit more serious about entrepreneurship right around 18. Um, so let's say about a, about 10 years ago. So about a decade ago, you know, who did I exactly look up to? And even way before that, you know, because See, you don't start something, and that's one thing I really want to focus on. You don't exactly start something, you know, um, and you just wake up one day and say, oh, I want to do this, or I want to become this, or this is what I exactly I'm going to become. For a while, you have been influenced by somebody or something, whether if it's an idea, whether if it's a subject, it's a book, it's an actor, it's a celebrity, it's, a, you know, uh, your favorite, I don't know, superhero, whatever it is. Your mentor might be Superman. I don't know. It might be Iron Man, you know? So it could be as silly as that or as as, as serious as a, a business consultant, you know, somebody you brought into your business to actually, you know, take you from here to here, you know, somebody, uh, you know, an influencer online, like somebody like Grant Cardone, you know, Gary Vee, you know, people like that. So you don't exactly understand who your mentors are until you really start looking into why am I really watching this person? Why am I really following this person? Um, you know, as I was growing up and really, I think the first mentor that I ever had, and, and I want to make this very clear, you know, mentors, you don't exactly have to have a personal relationship with your mentors. And that's one thing you guys need to understand. You know, just because somebody's your mentor doesn't mean you talk to them on a daily, doesn't mean you have even met them, you know? A lot of my mentors I've never met, you know, probably about 90% of my mentors I've never met. But over the years, they have influenced me. They have influenced the, the way I make decisions, the way I think, the way I act, the way I, you know, I do business, you know. And I've never, as I'm saying, 90% of them I've never even met, you know, maybe even more than, maybe 99% of them. And I've probably had a, probably a good dozen mentors over the course of, you know, let's say the past 10, 15 years or whatever that I've been an entrepreneur or, or thought of entrepreneurship and kind of started dreaming, you know what I mean? Um, one of the first mentors that I had, or at least uh, somebody that I looked up to and somebody that I truly believed in and, and truly, you know, was just an inspiration was Sylvester Saloon. And I always say he is my, you know, my, uh, my favorite actor. I've always loved the fact that, you know, where he came from and he started when he was in his mid-30s. He was homeless, literally. To becoming, you know, star. I mean, his first, you know, uh, hit movie was uh, Rocky Balboa, the boxer, and then from there he just exploded, you know. So seeing somebody coming from very humble beginnings, and I mean, man, I mean, that's not even humble. That's below humble, you know. We're talking about like below, below zero, you know, to becoming the man he is today. That just opened my eyes to a lot of things, you know. And I've always been into action movies, which is why, you know, we kind of just connected very well. And um, I think I've made this announcement before, but my first son will be named Sylvester. And um, almost everybody knows that from my family. My wife knows that. So, so yeah, because I, I mean, he's my favorite actor, all-time favorite actor. It doesn't matter. Nobody has replaced him in the past 15, 20 years now. So, really, your mentor could be anybody. It could be literally anybody. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be, you know, just because your mentor, you know, it could be somebody that's 10 years younger than you. It could be your child. It could be, you know, it's just... Somebody that you look up to, somebody that you actually, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, influences the way you act, influences the way you make decisions, influences the way you think, you know, influences your life altogether. And that's what I'm saying. You don't need to only have one mentor. You could have many mentors and not even realize it. You know, these people have influenced your life as you go. You know, like right now, I offer my mentorship as an FBA seller, right? So students can become, you know, my students or, or people can become my, or sellers can become my students. I mentor them. Now that type of mentorship is a one-on-one. -on -one. I talk to them all the time. You know, like right now my students, I am with them. I literally 
talk to them all the time. You know, you don't exactly need to have a personal relationship with your mentors, you know. So Sylvester Stallone was my first mentor. And then after that, you know, as year progress, honestly, I can't even think, but I know if I sit there and really think about it, I'll probably have a couple other mentors in the process. And then right around, um, I think I was about 19 or 20 when I started into, you know, getting into restaurants and stuff like that, you know. I worked, uh, Sharma, what's going on, buddy? How are you? When I got into restaurants, I started working for a man uh, named Foti. He, he's from Greece, and he owned a, uh, a very successful uh, local uh, Greek place, the best, hands down, the best Greek food I've ever had. Um, I worked for him since I was 17 until I was 19, I think, or 16 and 18, something like that. And, um, and I looked up to him a lot, you know, and he influenced the way – I ran my businesses thereafter because after that, I, I mean, my brother opened a pizza restaurant and the way that I operated was influenced a lot by the way he operated his business. And then right around then, you know, I was introduced to a man named John Taffer. John Taffer um, is a host of, uh, I think it's Fox, um, hey, Fox 5, I think it is. And he does a show called uh, Bar Rescue where he goes into bars and restaurants that are failing. And he rescues them. He brings a team of a, of a bartender and a, uh, and a cook or whatever or a chef. And then they re you know, renovate the whole place. You know, within like three days, I think, they should just turn the whole business around. Although it was a show, but it was something that, honestly, I took a lot from. And because my next business was a bar and restaurant. And a lot of the things and a lot of the decisions, the, you know, the, the even recipes and even menu items that I decided to put on my – and my restaurant were influenced by that show. And I would literally watch it. It would come on every Sunday. I would not miss one show. And I would watch it. But I was influenced by this man and his show. you know. And then it, this, it, it made my decisions change drastically according to what I learned from his show. you know. Although I reached out a couple of times because what they do is they go to failing restaurants and stuff like that. And they help out. They didn't choose me. I, you know, At the time, I wasn't a failing restaurant. But... So that's what I'm saying. It's people that actually have influenced you, influenced your life, and influence your decisions moving forward. So that's two people that influenced my business and my business strategy and my business decisions, you know. Um, and then after that, I, you know, I know there were a couple in the, in the mix. And then uh, the ones that I can remember is Gordon Ramsay, uh, 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 Marcus Lemons, uh, Mark Cuban, um, uh, Kevin O'Leary. Uh, Robert, I can't remember his last name, and then the whole cast from Shark Tank, because Shark Tank because became and then the prophet Marcus Lemons and uh, Kitchen Nightmares by uh, by uh, uh, Gordon Ramsay became my you know my favorite shows, and I would watch them, and I've been watching them for many years, and all these people became my mentors without me ever talking to them. I've never even tried to reach out. I don't even follow half of them on social media. You know, just watch their their uh, their shows, and honestly, um, you know. It's, you know, I know it's a show, and I know you might think, well, this is silly, but the way they act, and, and you know, I don't know if you see there's a, there's somewhat of a uh, similar uh, 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 between all, all the, uh, the shows that I watch. It's all about entrepreneurship. It's all about making change. It's all about bettering somebody. It's all about going into somebody's life, taking them, shaking the shit out of them, and then making them better, whether it's Shark Tank, Kitchen Nightmares, or Bar Rescue, or uh, 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 The Prophet. All those four shows, you know, are, are all about, you know, helping entrepreneurs, you know, helping businesses. You know, even uh, AGT, which is America's Got Talent, I love that show. And Simon is my favorite, you know, and he's also a mentor to me. You know, I've never talked to him. I don't even follow him on social media, you know. But it's also about, you know, finding talent, you know, uh, uh, giving somebody a chance to succeed, making something happen in their lives that's, that will literally drastically and forever change their lives. And that's what it's all about. It's finding somebody that you look up to, somebody that does something in a certain way that influences you, influences the way you act, influences the way you decide, influences the way you make decisions, and influences the way that you, you know, that you go about your life. You know, Gary Vee and Grant Cardone, I love both of them. I think they're both beasts, and I follow them both on social media. I, I retweet, you know, their uh, their uh, tweets. On Twitter all the time, you know, I follow a lot of my uh, uh, quotes on Facebook and Instagram are by them. You know, I follow them a lot. Those two, especially, I've read a lot of their. Uh, I've read four of Grant Cardone's books. I've read two of uh, Gary Vee's books. 
you know, somebody like Ty Lopez. He's not at the – he's not. He's kind of like at the lower of my bar at least, but he's also somebody that I personally follow, and I think he's a mentor to me. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Timothy Sykes, but uh, two years ago before I started Amazon FBA, I actually started following him uh, because I wanted to trade stocks, and he is a uh, penny stock trader, one of the most successful. And um, although I don't trade stocks, I'm not interested in it right now, although I would probably get into it later in the future. However, you know, the man himself, and not because he trades stock, but, you know, he's very positive, very motivational, just always, you know, motivating, always out there showing people. He builds uh, schools in third world countries. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, also another great mentor to me. <coughs> You know, somebody that, that has done so many different things that have nothing to do with each other, but perfected all of them. I think yesterday uh, I read an article where he, uh, for 20 executive years, he, he was the, the highest paid or the most successful something. You know, something very big happened for 20 years that he's been consistent at. You know, when he was a wrestler, he was good. When he was a football player, he was good. When he's an actor, he's the best, you know, and he's the highest actor, you know. So all these people in my life, and once again, I've never talked to Arnold. You know, Arnold is awesome, man. He came from Austria to this to this country. He had a vision. He became Mr. Olympia, and then he, you know, he became one of the biggest actors in in, in, in entire Hollywood. And then he became a governor in, in in California. He really wanted to become president, but he couldn't because he wasn't born in the U.S. So all these people have influenced my life drastically. My, you know, they have absolutely changed the way I think. They have absolutely changed the way I do business. They have absolutely changed the way that I approach anything in life. You know, whatever it is, doesn't matter what it is. But they have absolutely changed everything where, you know, now I actually, you know, think more, you know, and there is a process to the way I think. There is a process to the way I do things, you know. So once again, who's your mentor? Do you really need a mentor? All those are questions you should ask. And, and once again, I'm not here promoting my course and telling you to let me mentor you or anything like that. And none of that. But I really think, I really believe that it is very important that you find a mentor. It is very important that you guys find somebody that will actually be there for you, be your mentor, and literally just you know help you in the process, guide you through whatever it is that you are trying to get through and, and get you to the next level. And I always say, why not piggyback on somebody else's success? Why try to do it all on your own? Why try to, you know, to, to reinvent the wheel? You know, there is already a system to literally almost everything in this world. I mean, goddamn YouTube has so many things, you know? So why try to reinvent the wheel where the wheel is already, you know, invented for you? The system is already there for you. All you got to do is just follow the steps, piggyback some, on somebody else's success, and just make things happen, all right? So really need you guys to think about this very deeply, you know, very important. I honestly love this topic, and I love all my mentors, and I think they all do an amazing job and a phenomenal job, and if it wasn't because of them, I wouldn't be the man I am today, and I wouldn't be here, you know? So guys, once again, Bashar to here, Amazon be a seller mentor, coming to you every single day, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I love you all. Catch me tomorrow in, um, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Let me know how I can help you guys out. Aside from that, thank you very much for being so awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video, and you all have a great day. Take care.